Here we are at CGI, and we're very fortunate to have Rita Roy, the president and CEO of the MasterCard Foundation. Uh, Rita, it, it seems like it's just yesterday that we interviewed you, uh, and so this is pretty much a follow-up uh, mm -hmm. to that interview that we did a year ago. Now, but uh, but let's go down to, to where you just came from. You came from uh, a, the opening with President Clinton. That's right. Uh, President Clinton did something unusual this year at CGI. He decided to bring several members of the CGI family community up on stage so we could share about our progress uh, against certain commitments and also to talk about how partnerships happen at CGI. Okay, how do they happen? They happen by the sheer power of connections. And uh, we were very pleased that we could report that three years ago we came because we wanted to find people who were ready to move from intention to actual action. And, uh, and in, the, in the process, we were very, very specific. We were looking for folks who wanted to work with us in the area of expanding financial access to the poor, as well as creating opportunities for young people to learn, to earn, to save, and to do all of this in Africa. And so at the end of this, we have three marvelous, um, three significant partnerships and uh, wonderful partners uh, who are working with us. Uh, can you, can you yeah. talk about some of them? Absolutely. I'd be happy to talk about some of them. Uh, the first one I'd love to talk about is the Equity Group Foundation. This is an organization which is uh, the foundation of a very, very large homegrown bank, which is an uh, African success story. And we are working with them to expand access to secondary education all across Kenya. Uh, it is a program which will provide uh, opportunities for young people to go to school for about 5,600 of them. We have 700 of them already enrolled in school, and by January we'll have 1,700 students enrolled in school. And this is a program which really seeks out gifted young people who are just um, not able to access school for the sheer fact that they are impoverished, that they are socially marginalized, that they are economically vulnerable. Hmm. You know, I'm hearing the word program. I'm not hearing the word contribution. So it seems to me that it's a bigger thing than just giving dollars. Absolutely. This is a program which is all about identifying young people, providing them with mentoring, uh, investing in their leadership skills and life skills. It's much more than just going to school and covering tuition and getting your books paid and your, and your scholarships. It's really about learning. It's about developing self-esteem. It's about setting a vision for themselves that they can finish, not only finish secondary school, they can go on to university if that's the desire. They can pursue their dreams if it's to become a doctor, a nurse, a lawyer, a teacher. And most importantly, this is a program which inculcates one very important value. It's the value of giving back. And all of these young people, to the last one that we have talked to, want to give back. They want to give back first and foremost to their families, they want to give back to their communities, and they want to give back to Kenya. So often we talk about programs that are, that are geared to girls mm -hmm. uh, and, and young women because uh, they are, are, for the most part, uh, have the most difficult times in developing countries. Uh, this, though, is more than girls. This is for anyone, right? This is for girls and boys. Mm -hmm. And we look to ensure that there is gender parity uh, across the program. We absolutely understand that girls um, are even more disadvantaged in many instances. And when families have to make really tough choices about who they send to school, they always send the boy. Um, because the girl is, you know, oftentimes seen as someone who can actually help out at home, help out in the household, um, can then actually be earning income. So, or at some point in time, she's going to be married off. And so we are also trying to change the fortunes and to change the prospects for young girls. So the focus here at CGI 2011 is on jobs, mm -hmm. it's on girls and women, and it's on sustainability. Yes. Uh, it seems that you hit all three just with this program. Without, without a doubt. Um, I have to say, though, what's really top of mind for us is jobs. And uh, we know that there's a jobs crisis across the world, mm -hmm. uh, but it is particularly severe in continents like Africa, where you have a rising youth population. It is the one and only continent where, which is actually getting younger every mm -hmm. year. And uh, that's not going to change. And so we need to think about much more creative ways where we can enable young people to actually engage in the economy, to engage in their society. We need to prepare them for the jobs which will be there, as well as the fact that they may have to create their own jobs. And so that's what we're all focused on at the CGI. 